friends. I hope you're having a great day. It's Pastor Arden. All this month, we've been talking about our countdown to Easter, following the last week of Jesus' life. So we talked about him arriving in Jerusalem on Palm Sunday, and then on Thursday, sharing a last meal with his disciples and washing their feet to remind them to go out and serve other people, show them love by serving them just as Jesus served them. So today we're, going to talk about, today we're going to talk about the next part of the story, what happened later that night. So after dinner, after their feet had been washed, Jesus and his disciples left the building they had been eating in and went out to the Mount of Olives. And Jesus said, at the end of this night, after this night, all of you will leave me. And the disciples were so surprised. They're like, no, Jesus, we'd never do that. And Peter even said, Jesus, even if everyone else leaves you, I will never, ever fall away from you. And Jesus told Peter, before the rooster crows three times at dawn, before the rooster crows at dawn, you will have betrayed me three times. And Peter said, no, never, never. I could never, ever do that. So then Jesus took Peter and a couple of the other disciples away with him to a garden, the Garden of Gethsemane. And Jesus was worried and stressed, and he told the disciples, I'm going to go off and pray by myself. I want you guys to sit here and please be praying for me. Jesus knew what was about to happen. Jesus knew that he was going to be arrested and put to death. And Jesus, even though he was God's son and he could do amazing things, Jesus was also fully human. And so I think Jesus was really scared in that moment too. He didn't know, what, he knew what was going to happen, but he, he just didn't, he still didn't want that to be what was going to happen. And so he prayed to God and he said, God, if there's any way for this not to be what needs to happen, please, please make that so. But he ended his prayer with, not my will, but yours be done, God. Because Jesus knew that even though he had what he wanted to happen, he still knew that God had the perfect plan. And so Jesus said, God, if this is what needs to happen, your will be done. Jesus went back and the disciples had fallen asleep and he wakes them up. And he does this a couple of times. He comes back, finds them asleep. He goes off and prays, comes back, finds them asleep. So after the third time, he wakes them up. He says, wake up. My accuser is coming. The betrayer is coming. The person who was going to betray him to the Roman authorities. And that's when his disciple Judas shows up. Judas comes and he has all these armed guards with him. And Judas had told them, whoever I go and give a kiss on the cheek to, that is who Jesus is. That's the man you need to arrest. And so Jesus, Judas walks up and he's acting all welcoming. He says, Jesus, hi. He want, runs up, comes up, gives him a hug, gives him a kiss on the cheek. And Jesus says, do what you came to do. And that is when the soldiers come. They grab Jesus. They arrest him. His disciples try to defend. They grab one of the soldiers' swords. They're going to fight them. And Jesus says, no, no, no. We're, in, we're not going to be like that. We're not going to live by the sword. Jesus came to be a prince of peace. And so Jesus allowed the soldiers to take him away. And the, at that point, the disciples run off, except for Peter. Peter follows Jesus as they take Jesus to see the high priests and the judges who are looking for like people to give testimony against him, to testify against him so they can say he's guilty of these crimes and they could put him to death. And while that was all happening, Peter was waiting outside. And at one point, someone comes up to him and says, hey, you know Jesus, right? And Peter says, oh, no, 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 not me. I don't, I don't know. Jesus who? I don't know Jesus. And then later, a second person comes up and says, hey, I, I think I've seen you with Jesus before. I think you were one of his followers. Oh, no, no, not me. No, no, no. I don't, I don't know Jesus. And finally, a third person comes up and says, hey, you, you, your accent, you sound just like Jesus. You're from the same place as him. You must know him. And Peter again says, no, 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 no. I don't know Jesus. And at that point, the rooster crowed. And Peter realized that what Jesus had said was true, that he had denied him three times, said, I don't know Jesus, because he was scared. He was scared they were going to arrest him too. He was scared about what was going to happen. And when Peter 
realized that Jesus was right and that he had denied Jesus, even though he had promised never to leave Jesus' side, he cried. He was so upset. And so this is the beginning of the end of Jesus' life on earth. We're going to, next time we're going to talk about his crucifixion and death. And this is all the really sad part of the story. And it's really hard sometimes to talk about this story because it is so sad. But we also know in the back of our minds that this isn't the end of Jesus' story. That even though Jesus died and all of his friends were so sad, three days later he rose again and defeated death. And that is the absolute best news there could be. And one thing I think is really cool about this story is what Jesus prayed when he was in the garden. Jesus was scared and he was saying, God, I really don't want this to happen. But he also ended his prayer with, not my will, but yours be done, God. And I think that is something so important for us to remember when we pray to God. That we can pray and we can say, God, please let this happen. Or God, please don't let this happen. But I think we always need to remember to include at the end of our prayers, but God, I know you know better than us. And if this is what needs to happen, your will be done. We can accept that God has a plan for everything and everyone. And that we can expect that God can make amazing things happen out of even the really, really sad parts of our lives. And so when we pray, we should remember that we can ask God for what we want to happen, we can also always end our prayers with, but God, I, I ex I'm going to accept whatever you need to happen because God, I recognize that you know better than me. God knows everything. God knows everything. God is amazing. And so that's the part of this, this particular part of the story that I like to cling to, that I like to remember is that even Jesus didn't want something to happen. Even Jesus prayed and said, God, please let this not happen. But Jesus also remembered to say, God's will be done. And we can remember that too. So I have my prayer jar here. Let's see what we're going to pray for today. Okay. Thank God for five things. So you guys should think of your own five things. I am going to pray and I'm going to thank God for five things. So will you pray with me? Dear God, I thank you for all of the friends who are watching this video and joining us today. God, I thank you for Jesus, your son, who loved us so much. God, I thank you for the example of Jesus and how to pray and to remind ourselves that your will be done because you have a plan for us. God, I give you thanks for the spring weather we've been having. I give you Thanks for all the reminders that winter is over, flowers popping up, the reminder of new life and birth. And God, finally, I give thanks for this story, for the story of Easter, that even though Jesus died and really sad things happened that you still made the most amazing thing happen out of that sad story. So God, I give you thanks for being a God who makes miracles and amazing things happen out of even really sad situations. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, my friends, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you next time. Your activity today is really fun. You're going to go egg a friend's house. So you have uh, stuffed Easter eggs and you're going to go hide them in your friend or neighbor's yard and leave a sign on the door to tell them that they've been egged. And you also have a separate set of Easter eggs for yourself too, so you can do it at home. But oops, that was my jar. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later.